something else about Albano. He could get away with things that no one else could get away with. Yeah. Al, I've seen Albano in a bar full of cops and white cops, Puerto Rican cops, black cops, real New York City um, mix, you know? All races, all creeds, all colors, all religions. And he would say the most horrifically racist things you've I mean, using every inappropriate word and every inappropriate stereotype, and everybody would be laughing, including the people that he's joking around about. And no one else could have gotten away with that. I mean, anybody else, and, 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 and they would be painted, oh, my God, you know, it, it would be a Michael Hayes or a Bill Watts type of scandal again. Mm. And not Albano. He, could, he was like Don Rickles. He could say, he could say the most offensive things to me, you know, about being Jewish. I, here comes, here comes my, here comes my thank you, brother. He's a Jew. He's cheap. Ah, gonna rip me off for money. Huh? They all do that. <laughs> you know, and it would be funny. Everybody would laugh. I'd laugh. You know, and um, you know, he said things to Tony Atlas and Rocky Johnson that neither one ever took offense to. But was, you know, there was just something so charming and disarming about him, even in public. He would say things that you're sitting there and think, oh, my God, we're going to get shot. And, and you look around the room and everybody's laughing. Yeah, Murdoch was like that, you know. Murdoch was, was that, that's a charming like, guy, too, you know. Just, uh, but, but then again, I wouldn't say charming, but Murdoch was, um, I mean, he would say things that, like, I mean, you know, no, but no, no one else in that era could get away with. I mean, um, and, uh, but, I mean, he was, he was Dick Murdoch, and he was considered like, kind of like an old classic. Mm-hmm. You know? Mm-hmm. And, that, and that was Albano. He could get away with things in public. In public. I mean, uh, he, 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 here's the story. And Alvarez says, like, I could have written 200 pages about this. Um, we once were doing um, Superstar Billy Graham's guy, uh, the, the, uh, Scott Epstein. Yeah. Uh, we, we was doing something in New York City. And first they taped it with Blassie, and then they taped it with Albano, and then they were going to tape it. was some sort of show. I don't, I don't remember what it was. Um, and then they were going to tape it with Albano and Blassie together. And Albano drives down, uh, because Albano li- lived, lived in Carmel, which is, I don't know, 50, 60 miles up the road from here, from where I live. And I lived 10 minutes from Blassie. And Albano drove down, he picked up Blassie, and they both picked me up. I don't know, I was 16 at the time, maybe, you know, something like that. And we drive into New York City, and we park somewhere in, the, somewhere in Times Square. We had to walk a block and a half. <laughs> and, of course, Albano's just, you know, it's 1 o'clock in the afternoon, so, you know, he's been drinking for, I don't know, three hours by now? Mm-hmm. And, and, and hard, too. <laughs> And we're walking through Times Square in the middle of the day, and it's packed, and it's the summer, and it's hot, and he has to pee. Oh, no. And he doesn't want to wait. And, you know, and you figure, you know, okay, he's going to he's gonna go behind a dumpster. He's going to he's gonna go down this, you know, down an alleyway, down the foot. No, a battle standing right on the street corner, you know, on 44th or 45th and Broadway, somewhere around there. And he just pulls down his shorts and he starts peeing. Oh, my God. <laughs> He's peeing on the street. And everybody's looking, going, look at, hey, hey, that's a little battle. Hey, that's Freddie Bay. Look, he's peeing. Hey, he's peeing on the street. And here's two New York City cops. And Blassie's trying to play the blocker, you know. Blassie, <laughs> Blassie's trying to, to, to trying to block their view. Hey, hey, I can help officer. Classy Freddie Blassie, the Hollywood fashion blade. Hey, look at all these pencil neck geeks here. They're going to keep them away from us. Somebody's going to beat us up. Somebody's going to punch me in the face. They're going to ruin my hair. <laughs> and, he's, and he's yelling at the cops, and, he, and then they're loving it. And all of a sudden, one cop goes, hey, is he peeing? And I'm thinking, oh, my God, they're going to go to jail. They're going to they're send Captain Lou Battle to Rikers Island. And the cop goes, holy shit, he's peeing in the street. This guy's as soon as our battle was done, he pulls up his shorts, and of course, classic Captain Lou, peel over his hand, shakes the cop's hands, and then they ask for his fucking autograph. <laughs> you know, who else could get away with that? 
I mean, if I did that, you know, there would be, there would be, cover the, you know, splash page of the Observer, figure four, Heyman arrested in New York City, <laughs> peeing, on, peeing on the street, really? dr- obviously drunk, that Paul Heyman's career took another nosedive today <laughs> when he was peeing in the middle of the street and peed on his own hand and rubbed it into the palms of two New York City police officers. How stupid is this guy? But Albano, they loved it. Those cops probably didn't wash their hands for weeks. <laughs> that was just Albano. He just got away with stuff like that. And, and you know, you sit there, and I'm telling these stories, and I know that if somebody's going to transcribe this, somebody's going to read this and go, oh, man, Heyman's so full of shit. 